Precious, thanks indeed for talking to us. I mean, this isn't an issue just for ratings agencies. You would argue that the public needs to watch this debt figure very, very closely. How does it affect you and I? Hi, Devin. Thanks for having me. Yes, the public definitely has to take a close look at this figure. It's a, it's a figure that's been fluctuating um, year after year, and if if, if SARS is not collecting enough tax revenue, it's a figure that will increase once again in the year that, that, that lies ahead. And if it increases too much, you can easily find yourself stuck in a debt trap. So, ratings agencies, once again, I mean, we, we've said that the public needs to watch this closely, but even in terms of ratings agencies, if they downgrade us, then of course you would have uh, investors being compelled to come out of our bonds, and that could affect the RAN, couldn't it? And there you go, inflation starts. So even on the ratings agency level, we are in trouble if this happens. Yes, if we look at a rating agency's level, um, the, the, the in investment grade level that the rating agencies give us has a, has a direct impact in the cost of, of our debt. So if they were to downgrade us further, all of a sudden your, your interest payment on the debt would increase significantly, which would have even a worse effect on the current fiscal situation. And then you can expect even a, a higher f uh, budget deficit, um, and, and then that, that'll have a detrimental effect on the economy. So now there's a lot of talk about ESCOM and government uh, uh, being asked to step in to cover at least 100 billion rand of its debt. I would imagine that in that particular instant, the problems that ESCOM uh, is directly related in some shape or form to our debt figure if government steps in to help. Yes, further bailouts to, to ESCOM and some of our other state entities will, will further, uh, further effects on that debt level. And it will be important that the finance minister addresses that and definitely addresses how he's looking to to fix these entities and uh, there has been some speak about him breaking up the entities into or the ESCOM especially into three different units and just how, how that will be advantageous to the fiscus. So we have to watch that closely too. Mm. What do you think the finance minister is likely to do in terms of help to ESCOM here? Well the finance minister has, a, has quite a tough job. Um, he's, he first has to look at obtaining additional funding and whether that's going to be an increasing certain tax rates or additional lending. We'll just have to wait and see. But I don't see much scope for him actually increasing taxes. If we look at, um, if we look at the corporate tax rate, it's already at a, one of the highest rates. And if we look at the individual tax, tax rates, it was increased about t two years ago, uh, introducing the, the, the super tax bracket. And then as, as recently as last year, we had the, the increase in the VAT rate. Uh, which the public was quite up in arms about. So being an election year, I actually think that this, um, their tax rates would pretty much stay the same. But you will indeed, as we always do at these budget speeches, have perhaps calls to tighten tax revenue collection, I would imagine, uh, just try and get rid of that apathy or low tax morale, as they call it. Uh, that sort of sentiment is likely to come out in the budget as well, I would think. Yes, we always look at the tax buoyancy figure when we, when we talk about the sentiment when it comes to, to paying taxes. But it's very important that people still pay taxes in order to make sure that there's, that there's enough money for the fiscus to, to pay the expenses that they need to pay. Um, we have had talks about certain uh, tax revolts, but once again, we don't, we don't see that actually happening, especially just with the powers that SARS has. Um, so it's very important just as a general economic Term, that taxes are paid and that the, uh, that the money is used wisely by, um, by Treasury. All right, we'll leave it there, Tertius. Thanks very much indeed for talking to us.